What are herbal preparations? My name is Rusty Owen Brink. I'm a board certified osteopathic family physician. I've worked as an integrative physician for over a decade. Herbal preparations, many common modern pharmaceuticals are derived from herbs and other plant sources. Herbal products may have other compounds that are possibly metabolically active, either in a therapeutic or some other manner. Pharmaceuticals are in a much more purified form of an herbal product. Some of the other manners in which herbs can act then is the risk of unanticipated side effects, either from the therapeutic compound within the herbal preparation or other compounds that may not have been removed by the processing and manufacturing of the, of the pharmaceutical agent that leaves only the desired compound in the final product. More information on it is available at the website as noted at the bottom of the slide. Garlic. It's a root vegetable originally from Asia. It's now grown all over around the world. Culinary uses and metabolic functions. It re reduces cholesterol accumulation on vascular walls. It inhibits vascular calcifications in people with high blood pressure in one study. A mild reduction of cholesterol and triglyceride levels in another study. Reduces platelet aggregation. Therapeutically, it's used to treat the common cold. It's an expectorant to help you clear secretions from your lungs and throat. It has antimicrobial activity. It also keeps vampires away. Enhances vitamin B1, thiamine absorption, and reduces the risk of beriberi. It's also helpful in preventing colorectal cancer and tick bites. Who would want to bite somebody that smells like garlic? Fungal infections of the skin are also reduced and it has a beneficial effect on diabetes and in those with H. pylori stomach infection, which can lead to ulcer formation. It helps reduce the incidence of breast and lung cancer. It helps to reduce atherosclerosis and intermittent lung claudication of the blood vessels. Natural sources, common root vegetable grown all over the world, toxicity and side effects, Bad breath caused by the allyl methyl sulfite in the garlic. Sipping milk while but not after eating garlic reduces this effect. Irritable bowel syndrome, diarrhea, mouth and throat ulcerations, nausea, breathing difficulties, and anaphylaxis can occur. Those with severe sensitivities are more likely to also be sensitive to onions, chives, leeks, shallots, ginger, and bananas. Possible drug interactions. INH, which is used to treat tuberculosis, HIV and AIDS medications, birth control pills, cyclosporin, an anti-cancer drug, any medication metabolized by the cytochrome P450 subset CYP2E1 enzyme system in the liver. This includes Tylenol, chlorazoxone or Librium, alcohol, theophylin, anesthetic gases. Also the CYP3A4 cytochrome system which metabolizes Mevacor, Allegra, Nizerol, Sporinox, Plavix, Voltaren, Ibuprofen, Naproxen, Lovenox, and Fragment. So taking garlic can interfere with the metabolism of these and also of Coumadin. Hawthorne. Hawthorne is used, has been used for heart issues beginning in the 15th and since 17th centuries. It's used by both allopathic and homeopathic physicians. It increases blood flow to the heart muscle in both animals and humans. It improves heart contractility, increases cardiac performance and output, reduces peripheral vascular resistance so the heart can pump easier, has an antiarrhythmic effect, it keeps the electrical activity of the heart doing what it's supposed to do. It increases the heart's tolerance to oxygen deprivation as can happen with angina or a heart attack. It has a mild calming effect. It supports the effects of digitalis or can be used as a substitute for digitalis. It's actually probably a lot safer than digitalis is. It's also a good free radical scavenger. Therapeutic uses for anxiety, chest pain, angina, hypertension, atherosclerosis, hyperlipidemia, congestive heart failure, arrhythmias, muscle spasms. Natural sources of hawthorn in the northern hemisphere, it's a tr tall shrub with fruit, flowers, and leaves that are used therapeutically to prepare tinctures. 
The side effects and toxicity it can cause nausea, stomach upset, fatigue, sweating, headache, dizziness, palpitations, nosebleeds, insomnia, and agitation. There are no known drug interactions. Lemon balm. Scientific name, Melissa officinalis, family, Lemisiae. It's a member of the mint family, as you can tell by looking at the leaves. It's also known as balm or Melissa, sweet balm. It's a member of the mint family, as I mentioned. Therapeutically, it's a calming herb. It reduces stress and anxiety, promotes sleep, eases pain with indigestion, including colic, bloating, flatulence, improves the appetite, it's edible. Fresh leaves can be added to salads, egg dishes, sauces for fish, poultry, and pork. Dried or fresh whole plant can be used for cool, refreshing drinks or warm, relaxing teas. Medicinal uses. The leaves and young flowering shoots are used because they have antibacterial, antiviral, and antispasmodic properties to them. The balm contains volatile citral and citronella oils. They're antispasmodic. They aid in calming nerves. They relieve menstrual cramps. They're helpful for insomnia, depression, hyperthyroidism symptoms like with Graves' disease, upset stomach, colic in babies. Topically, they can be used for cold sores. Side effects, none noted. The dosage, according to the German Commission e-monograph, is 1.4 to 4.5 grams in tea several times a day, or a tincture 2 to 3 cc's three times a day. Concentrated extracts of 160 to 200 milligrams can be taken 30 to 60 minutes before bed for insomnia. Highly concentrated extract or ointment can be taken 3 to 4 times a day for skin lesions. It's frequently combined with other plants. The dosage is frequently combined with other plants, as mentioned before. Adding it to peppermint helps to calm an upset stomach. Add it with valerian is good for insomnia. Adding bugleweed or Lycopus virginicus is good for Graves' disease. Toxicology, there have been no safety concerns in patients who do not have Graves' disease. Summary, it's good for topical cold sores. It's also very good as a mild sedative. Verbena, lemon. This is what it looks like. Scientific name is Aloysia trifalia, family verbenaceae. It's also known as Louisa information. It's a small ornamental tree that grows up to 15 feet during the summer. It has pale lavender flowers that are clustered on branch tips amid the leaves. The sticky leaves bear an oil with a lemony fragrance. History, it's been used for centuries. The leaves are good for tea and beverage flavoring. Fragrances are good in perfumery. Uses, teas, flavorings, fragrances, antispasmodics, carminatives, it's good for, to help expel gas, sedatives, stomachic, it's good for the stomach. The oil is a good massage oil. It blends well with lavender and rosemary. It's put into creams and lotions. It reduces puffiness around the eyes. It can be added to a floral vinegar to soften and freshen skin. Side effects, some individuals may have some contact sensitivity from this. Contact sensitivity. Dosage as desired. Toxicology, it's safe for human consumption. Contact sensitivity has been reported. The summary, it's fragrant, it's used in teas. Lemon. Scientific and common names, citrus limon, family rutaceae. Information, it's a hybrid citrus tree of cultivated origin. The juice, pulp, and rind or zest have been used for cooking and mixing. The juice is 5% citric acid with a pH of 2 to 3. Botany, it originated in Southeast Asia. It bears fruit year-round. History, it's been used since the 1st century A.D., in the 1600s on sailing ships to prevent scurvy, each sailor got one ounce daily. Uses of lemon. Obviously, it's used in food preparations. In the agricultural industry, it's used to gel and stabilize foods. Vitamin C and other anti-cancer drugs are derived from lemon. Uh, 
They have hydrophilic and antimicrobial properties. Side effects, erosion of tooth enamel. Dosage, lemon can be used as desired. Toxicology, again, it erodes tooth enamel. Summary, uh, lemon contains many important vitamins, especially vitamin C. There are additional antioxidants and anti-tumor agents in lemon. And the pectin aids in cardiovascular health. Also, it's used for skin ailments and GI issues. Lemongrass. Common in scientific names, Sympopogen citratus, C. flexors, and Andropogen citratus, Shorthus, and Fluxosus. The family, Poaceae, Graminae, grass. Lemongrass is known as varieties from Guatemala, West India, Madagascar, British India, East India, and French India. It's a native to India, widely used in Thai and Vietnamese cooking. It's a perennial. It comes back annually after planting, may be dormant in cool weather during the winter. It's very aromatic. The botany, it's a tall aromatic perennial grass with linear leaves. The infusion can be made as a tea. It's widely used in South American folk medicine. It has antispasmodic and analgesic effects with good for nervous disorders, GI disorders, fever, as to prevent vomiting. In India, it's used as an antitussif to prevent cough. It's also used for certain rheumatic conditions and as an antiseptic. In China, it's helpful for headache, stomach ache and abdominal pain, rheumatic pain. Grass's uses, culinary, it has a very nice fragrance and flavoring. It's used by the Indonesians, Malaysians, Sri Lankans, and also in Indian cooking. It works very well with meat, poultry, seafood, and vegetable curries. Harmonizes well with coconut milk, especially with chicken or seafood. The stems can be made into teas, pickles, or flavoring marinades. The medicinal uses include its activities as an antispasmodic, hypotensive, it helps to reduce elevated blood pressure. It works to help prevent seizures. It has a nice pain relieving effect. Also helps with nausea and vomiting. Helps with cough, rheumatic disorders, it has antiseptic properties, and it's helpful for things such as nervous disorders, GI disorders, and fever. Side effects, it has a very low toxicity. It does have some beta myrcene, which can interfere with the cytochrome P450 liver enzymes, suggesting that it may be possibly toxic in some regards, but we don't have any information on that yet. Dosage as desired, toxicology, it's generally recognized as safe in the United States, but it may cause a rash if applied topically in alveolitis. Lung air sac inflammation can occur from inhaling the oil. Avoid use in pregnancy to uterine and menstrual flow stimulation. Summary, widely used in South America for analgesia, nervousness, and GI disorders in India for inflammation and with antiseptic properties, has anti-cancer properties and may alter certain liver enzymes. It's also used as a food flagrance, food flavoring for fragrance and beauty products. Lettuce opium, scientific name, Lactuca virosa or sativa, family Compositae. It's also known as wild lettuce, German lacticarium, garden lettuce, lettuce opium, strong scented lettuce, green endive, acrid lettuce, and greater prickly lettuce. The botany, it's widely cultivated. It flowers from July to September. It's a biennial herb that grows up to six feet tall. Leaves can attain lengths of 18 inches. The stalks are rich in a milky white sap that flows freely when the stems are broken. History, it's been used in folk medicine for treating swollen genitals and a substitute for opium and cough mixtures. Homeopathically, it's used as a tincture for laryngitis, bronchitis, asthma, cough, and urinary tract infections. It's marketed as a legal narcotic substitute to be smoked alone or with marijuana to enhance potency and flavor. It has analgesic and sedative attributes that are questionable. It's been used in Chinese medicine. It's been used as a dry juice, as a topical wound antiseptic. Seeds can be used as a galactic log to simulate, stimulate milk flow in nursing mothers. The flowers and seeds may be used to reduce fevers. 
Other uses, a topical antiseptic, narcotic substitute or enhancer, side effects, ingestion has been associated with allergic reactions, dosage, follow the directions on the bottle or discuss with your doctor or caregiver, do not overuse this. Toxicology, possible association with ingestion and local oral allergy reaction. Summary, there's little value for this really in modern medicine. It does have some hallucinogenic effects attributed but unsubstantiated. It's probably more psychological than physiological in proportion to the user's expectations. Levant Berry. Scientific name, Avamertococulus. A. paniculata, Metaspermu coculus, M. lacunosum, coculus subrosus, and C. lacunosus. Family, Metaspermesi. It's a, known as a fish killer, fish berry, hockle elderberry, Indian bush berry, louse berry, or poison berry. The dried fruit is called Coculus fructus or Coculus indicus in commercial trade. Botany, this is a climbing woody shrub native to India, Burma, and Malaysia. It's wide with thick leaves and rootlets that use a white, milky latex. Fragrant flowers producing U-shaped seeds. The fruit dries to a bitter, nearly black, wrinkled shape. History, its fruit is gathered from the wild and sun-dried for export. India leaves are inhaled as a snuff to relieve, relieve malaria. The leaf juice and other natural products act as a vermifuge to expel worms and parasites from the GI tract. Extracts can be used for head lice, but it's dangerous due to the toxicity, especially the picrotoxin, which is especially dangerous if the skin is broken. Levant berry. Uses. In the past, it had been used to treat malaria, lice, stun or kill, fish and game. Formerly, it was also used to treat epilepsy and morphine overdose. The side effects. This is a potentially lethal agent. It should not be used on abraded skin, nor should it be ingested. Toxicology. There's a picrotoxin that stimulates the central nervous system and is a GI irritant. High doses of this can cause salivation, vomiting, purging, rapid shallow respirations, palpitations or heart slowing, stupor, loss of consciousness, and then death. The lethal dose is 30 milligrams per kilogram. The seed paste has been applied to arrows to kill birds, dogs, stupefy fish, and game. Summary, it's not widely used in the United States or in Europe. It remains popular, however, in Asia. The toxic picrotoxin should not be adjusted, nor should it be applied to broken skin. Licorice. Lysrhiza, glabra, and urolensis, and pallidiflora. The family, leguminosa, it's a type of a bean. It's known as licorice, Spanish licorice, or Russian licorice. Botany, it's a four to five foot shrub growing in subtropical climates with rich soil. Glyceresia means sweet roots, which are then harvested. The history dates back to Hippocrates and the Roman Empire. It's been used as an expectorant to help with cough and sputum expulsion, a carminative to help expel gas from the stomach and the colon. The Chinese considered it a drug of first class to exert a godly effect on the body and to lengthen life. The active ingredients can maintain potency for over 1,200 years. It's used in culinary uh, uses for confectionery flavoring candy. Although candy rarely has more than 2% natural licorice, most of the flavor is from anise or synthetic. 90% of natural licorice is used for a flavoring for tobacco. Medicinal uses, flavoring to mask bitter tastes, such as quinine, GI complaints, shampoos. It may have some anti-inflammatory effects and be good for lupus. It's a demulcent or soothing coating agent. It relieves respiratory ailments, such as allergies, bronchitis, colds, sore throats, and can help with tuberculosis. Stomach problems, such as heartburn and gastritis, inflammatory disorders, such as lupus. Skin diseases and liver diseases can improve with the licorice. Side effects, large amounts taken daily can cause lethargy and quadriplegia, total body paralysis. Do not overconsume licorice. Dosage, dried root, one to five grams, three times a daily as a decoction. Tincture, two to four cc's, three times a day. 
The DGL extract, 0.4 to 1.6 grams three times a day for peptic ulcer in chewable tablets or 300 to 400 milligrams 20 minutes before meals for peptic ulcer. For sore throat in older children, a piece of root may be chewed or licorice tea may be used. Most herbal doses are calculated on the basis of a 150 pound or roughly 70 kilogram adult. Scale the dose appropriately for children. The toxicology, lethargy, flaccid weakness, dulled reflexes, low potassium, myoglobinuria due to inhibition of the renin-angiotensin system. This stuff can cause hypertension due to the aldosterone-like effects. I had one patient in my career that had very high blood pressure on Fridays only. It took a long time to figure out what the problem was. Numerous consultants were seen. And ultimately, I was able to attain a history that said on Thursdays, he would get paid. He would go out and buy a pound of licorice and eat it while watching TV Thursday night. If he saw me in the office on a Friday, his blood pressure would be sky high. Any other day of the week, it was fine. This was with domestic licorice made in the United States. It was not thought to have enough glycerizic acid to cause this problem, but it certainly did in this gentleman. The summary? Consumption of 30 to 40 grams per day for extended periods can cause dangerous electrolyte imbalances and blood pressure problems. Beware of this with existing liver, kidney, or cardiovascular disease. It can cause retention of sodium and body fluid. Life root. Seneca aureus. Family Asteraceae compos- compositae also known as golden groundsel, golden senecia, ragwort, false valerian, coughweed, cocash weed, female, female regulator, and grundy swallow. The botany, it's a perennial herb with bright yellow flower heads that grows up to one to two meters in swampy thickets, moist ground in the eastern and central United States. It has heart-shaped leaves. The entire plant is used medicinally. Historically, it's had an important role in Native American herbal medicine. The Catawba women used to make tea to relieve the pain of childbirth and to hasten labor. Uses of the life root, hemorrhage, irregular menses, and other GYN disturbances, upper respiratory infection, URI, side effects. It's toxic, possibly a cancer causer. Dosage, it should be avoided. It contains pyrrozolidine alkaloids, which are associated with pulmonary hypertensive hypertensive vascular disease, basically high blood pressure of the lungs. It also has liver toxicity, can cause liver cancer and necrosis, death and rotting of the liver tissue. This is more common to happen in grazing animals that eat it. Liver congestion due to poor venous outflow can occur, and also veno-occlusive disease. The veins can clot and block up. The Seneca species is most toxic when young. It is absolutely contraindicated during pregnancy and lactation. It is an abortifact and it causes abortions and it transfers through the placenta and through to breast milk. The summary, life root has very little pharmacologic evidence to support its use in disorders of the female reproductive tract. Life root contains hepatotoxic alkaloids. It is very poisonous to liver. This life root should not be used for any purpose, contrary to what the name says. Linden, Tilia cordata, Platyphylos, or Scope for teas. The family, Tiliaceae, it's also known as Linden, European Linden, Basswood, Lime Tree, or Lime Flower. The trees can grow up to 100 feet high. It's native throughout Europe also planted in gardens. It's a beautiful tree. It has a smooth gray bark, heart-shaped leaves with five petaled yellow-white flowers that are collected after the spring bloom, dried, and preserved for medicinal use. It's been around since the Middle Ages. Medicinal uses, it promotes sweating. It can be a tranquilizer, helps with headaches, indigestion, diarrhea, reduces nasal congestion, relieves cough and sore throat, has a calming effect which makes it useful for high blood pressure. It can be used as a lotion for itchy skin. Culinary uses, it can make a pleasant tea. You can get sugar from the sap of the tree and the seed oil resembles olive oil. 
Side effects, heart damage is possible from the teas. Dosage, as desired or needed. Toxicology, frequent use of these teas can cause heart damage, so avoid this in those that have a history of heart disease. Contact rash and allergy can occur from the fruit oils. Wood dust exposure can shrink the nucleus of the lymphocytes, which are a type of white blood cell. Summary of Linden. The flower can be used to make a tea, which will induce sweating. It helps with colds, infections, throat irritation, and cough. The sedative effects can help with palpitations, headaches, insomnia. Antispasmodic effects make it useful for incontinence and hemorrhage. It has the potential, however, for heart damage from drinking these teas. Lorenzo's oil. This is urusic acid or oleic acid. This oil is useful for treating a rare X-linked recessive genetic disease known as adrenoleukodystrophy that occurs in children and adrenal myeloneuropathy, which is a more insidious path in adults characterized by loss of myelin, the insulation of the cerebral nerves in the brain. It causes a peripheral neuropathy, blindness, spastic, spastic tetraplegia, and death. The primary characteristic of the disease is accumulation of very long-chain saturated fatty acids, which accumulate, leading to the neurologic symptoms. So this is used to treat a very rare disease. Side effects, thrombocytopenia with low blood clot platelets, which are the clotting cells. Toxicology, thrombocytopenia, low white cell count, low platelet count, excuse me, and also possibly an asymptomatic neutropenia, a low white blood cell count. Summary, it's a combination of oleic and eusic acids, long-chain monounsaturated fatty acids. To date, there's not been much of a valid clinical effect and the disease is treated with it. Lavage. Levisticum officinale cock or angelica, angelica levisticum for Balan. Hipposolinum levisticum from Brit. Family, Embrillifergae. It's known as the Magi plant or smellage. It's a beautiful, hardy perennial herb in the same family as Angelica and the carrot. It produces aromatic, umbiliferous yellow-green flowers in dense clusters that bloom from July to August atop thick, hollow stems. It grows up to two meters high, leaves divided by sharply toothed leaflets. The odor resembles celery and tastes spicy sweet with some slight bitterness. It's grown in the Mediterranean, Europe, northeastern United States, and Canada. History of Lavage. It's been a folk medicine for over 500 years. It's primarily used for its GI effects. The uses, it's a carminative. It helps to expel gas from the stomach and colon and an anti-flatulent. It has diuretic effects. It soothes sore throats. It can be used as a topical medication for abscesses. It can be used as a breath lotions. It also can be used as a skin wash and lotion. Lavage means from Liguria. At the one time, the herb flourished there. Also, herbal teas are used for flavorings, for liqueurs, spice extract, bitter spirits, and the fragrance is used for cosmetics. Other side effects include photosensitivity dermatitis at the harvest, but not in its use as a therapeutic agent. Toxicology, the furocumarins cause photosensitivity dermatitis. Summary, it's a fragrant plant that's been used for centuries. There's limited evidence to support the traditional claims. The volatile oil probably gives the carminative and diuretic effects. The photosensitivity is limited to the time of harvest. Marijuana. Scientific and common names, cannabis, sativa, there are over a dozen other species. The family is cannabinaceae. Common names vary with local customs. Botany, over a hundred species grow wild throughout most temperate climates. It's a leafy annual. Some species attain heights of 10 feet. The stalk is a three to four inches thick, maybe square with hollow with ridges running along its length. Each leaf has five to seven soft, narrow, long leaves, seven to ten inches long with a sawtooth edge. Female plants have heavier foliage. Male plants are very sparse. 
The resin is found in the glandular hairs of the leaflets and the floral bracts. It's called hashish, and it contains numerous tetrahydrocannabinol compounds. The plant is cultivated worldwide for fiber, seed oil, and hashish. Marijuana's history, it's been used for over 4,000 years. The uses include fiber for making rope and clothing. Other uses include treatment for catara, which is a respiratory inflammation with excessive secretions from the mucous membranes. It's an anti-emetic. It helps to prevent and stop nausea and vomiting. Leprosy, fever, dandruff, hemorrhoids, obesity, which is kind of interesting as everybody uh, knows it does cause an increase in appetite, asthma, urinary tract infections, loss of appetite, inflammatory conditions, cough, presumably when it's eaten, not when it's smoked, and the set of effects have been recognized since the time of the ancient Chinese. Side effects, it's harmful to the heart, lungs, brain, endocrine system, and eyes. It has a strong potential for abuse. Summary, although used as a traditional medicine for over 4,000 years, today it's most widely known as a psychoactive drug. It has effects on the cardiovascular, pulmonary, CNS, endocrine, ocular systems. It also has some neoplastic potential. There are over 400 compounds identified, none of which have sufficient therapeutic efficacy to warrant a major role in modern medicine other than use in dronabinol for nausea. Mate, known also as Ilex paraguariensis, or St. Hill, the family Aquifoliaceae, known also as Yerba Mate, Paraguay Tea, St. Bartholomew's Tea, and Jesuit's Tea. The botany, the beverage is made from the leathery leaves of the Ilex, a species of holly. Mate has a faintly aromatic smell and smoky astringent flavor. It's been used by ancient Indians in Brazil and Paraguay, first cultivated by Jesuit missionaries. It's used as a stimulant and a diuretic. It has depurative effects. It's a detoxifying agent. It does contain caffeine and vitamins. It is a centrally acting stimulant. Side effects. Heavy use can increase the risk of esophageal cancer, especially in women. The dosage as desired. Toxicology. Heavy doses of mate can increase the rate of esophageal cancer in women. It may contain 1,2-benzopyrene, a phenanthrene derivative that is toxic. Summary. The beverage contains many compounds with nutritional values. It can be used as a depurative, a stimulant, and diuretic in Central and South America, replacing coffee and tea as a common beverage. It's linked with esophageal cancer and liver disease. Related species of the holly, Ilex aquifolium, opaca, and vomituria are poisonous. Monascus. Common in scientific names. Monascus purpurus, Tsai Tai, Su Si's Kang in China, also known as red yeast. The history, this dates back to 800 AD. It's a mild, non-toxic yeast made by a fermentation process using cooked, non-glutinous rice. It's used for gastric indigestion and circulatory problems. It's also used to lower cholesterol. This is where the statin drugs come from. Side effects, GI discomfort, avoid with liver disease, muscle pain in susceptible individuals. High doses of CoQ10 can help with this, but do not always do the trick. Toxicology, citronin is produced by M. purpurus and M. ruber. It's toxic to the kidneys. Summary, inhibits HMG-CoA reductase, which is involved in the synthesis of cholesterol. And as mentioned, this is where the statins come from. Morinda, also known as Morinda citrifolia, it can be known as Nani, hog apple, Indian mulberry, Mecado, Mora de la India, painkiller, Rebarbo caribe, and wild pine. The botany, it's a native to Asia, Australia, and Polynesia. It grows three to eight meters high as a tree or shrub with evergreen leaves, which are oblong, 10 to 45 centimeters long. 
that produces white tubular flowers with cone-like heads. There is a yellow-white oval fruit about the size of a potato with a bumpy surface that has a cheese-like offensive odor when ripe that contains four seeds that are about three millimeters in length. History, it's been used by Polynesian healers for thousands of years. It's used as a heart remedy for headache, digestive and liver ailments, diabetes, hypertension, arthritis, aging. It contains zeronine, an alkaloid is isolated for medical food and industrial use. Side effects are unknown. The toxicology is unknown, but the fruit is reported as edible. The summary, it's used as a general healing agent for thousands of years in Polynesia. It benefits the immune system and has anti-cancer and anti-helminthic, anti-parasitic activities. Eulian, also known as Vervascum thapsus, V. flamides, and V. thapsiform. The family Scrofulariaceae, also known as American Eulian, European or Orange Eulian, Candleflower, Candle Wick, Hig Taper, Longwort, or Torchweed. It's been known since the time of Ulysses. It has a rigid six foot stem when soaked with oil, makes for a good torch. The botany, large yellow flowery flowers with a honey fragrance and almond taste, but slimy bitter leaves. It's been found around the United States during the first year. Large leaves will form a low-lying basal rosette. The second spring, the central stem can grow four feet or more in height and then develop flowers that bloom from June to September. History, it's got a long history of use involving ingestion of top and topical application and smoking. It's used for respiratory disorders, including asthma, coughs, tuberculosis, croup, cough, suppressant, and expectorant and sore throat. It has antiviral activity against herpes simplex type 1 and flu A and B. The mucilage content makes it helpful as an emollient for inflammatory skin conditions and burns. It's also used for hemorrhoids, burns, bruises, gout. There are no known side effects. The dosage is a three, three, tea three to four times a day. Tincture, one quarter to three quarter teaspoons, that's one to four cc's, three to four times a day. The dried product, one half to three quarters of a teaspoon, will contain three to four grams three to four times a day. It can be used for ear infections applied directly into the ear if the eardrum is intact. Toxicology, none known. Summary, it's a common plant with a long history of use in herbal medicine, has mild astringic properties and a topical smooth soothing effect. It might have mild demulsant properties when ingested, but there is no associated toxicity. Thank you.